It was almost like slow motion. The lights were coming at us, and I had time to think, whoa, that's really bright. Why is it coming at us? I think we're going to BAM! <sighs> Crazy, huh? Yeah. Gosh, I'm so grateful you guys are okay. I can't believe all this is happening while Rex and I were home in bed. Shane, upstairs. Get dressed. I just want to tell Aunt Stacy about the car. Okay, now, please. I'll tell Aunt Stacy what happened last night. Where's Rex? I don't know. He's probably too ashamed to show his face after he got drunk and tried to sleep with your sister. That's not how he says it went. Oh, really? Does he have another reason for how he ended up in bed with me? Can you put a rush on those results? We're pretty busy, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Hey, man, are you all right? Better than I was last night. I, I can't talk right now. Okay. I'm not the one you should be upset with, okay? I did you a favor. <laughs> Rex already dropped one wife like a hot potato. You're lucky you found out before it went too far. Look, I don't know exactly what happened here last night. I do. I missed you. I want to talk to Rex alone. Uh, actually, I want Stacy to hear this. You see, I woke up this morning with a killer headache, and then it hit me. I may be a lightweight, but two beers is not enough to knock me down for the count. Not by a long shot, so it had to have been something else. Like what? Like a Mickey. Excuse me? That's why I nodded out so fast. Why I can't remember going up the stairs. You're saying someone spiked your beer. Not someone. Your sister. That's ridiculous. What do I know about Mickey's? You worked in Sin City. Uh, I was a dancer, not a gangster. <laughs> uh, you were a stripper. Oh, so when you wanted me to dance for you last night, you were actually expecting me to strip? Remember that little part, don't you? Because you did last night, or are you just going to claim you don't remember anymore? Okay. You turned my phone off when Gigi needed me. My son needed me. How could you have done this? <laughs> He's just trying to cover his butt, Gigi. A, a Mickey for crying out loud? That's like saying my dog ate my homework. I just had blood work to prove it, so you might as well just admit it. What did your little blood test show? It's not back yet, but I'll tell you what it's going to show. A foreign substance in my system that you put there. What's going on? We're all just uh, a little tense about what happened last night. Hello? Hey, Jeej, it's me, Brody. Hi, is everything all right? Well, I, I heard about the accident. Mine? How? My friend, um, you're really okay? Barely a scratch. And Shane, he's okay? Hang on. Shane, it's for you. Hello? Hey, champ, you know who this is? Brody? No way! Well, you'll do anything to get attention, won't you? Right now, I could flunk out of school and my parents wouldn't even care. Not a chance, mister. Uh, I'm just, I'm glad to hear you're okay. So, how are things with you? Good. Uh, really good, actually. Um, anyway, I, I know you're in good hands with your mom and your dad. I, uh, you just take care of yourself. I will. I miss you, Brody. Bye. Pizza is the best breakfast, isn't it? Shane, hurry. The bus is coming. Mom, I was just in a major car crash. I shouldn't have to go to school today. Then you can tell all your friends about your big adventure. You'll be the man. You're right. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, oh, don't forget he bones dead. <sighs> Get out of here. Go. Before it comes. Yeah, you know what? I better go, too. Oh, you're not going anywhere. So if I know you, you'll go run down to the lab to end run my test. Get over yourself. What, you think I got you alone and spiked your drink and now I'm going to go chase down your medical records? For what? It's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, right, because me being a schedule-changing, Mickey-slipping, blood-test-stealing man-eater makes way more sense than you getting drunk and trying to sleep with me. You're not actually falling for this, are you, Cheech? 